Understanding Be in Power, a guide to political phrases in English. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into a commonly used phrase in English, be in power. This phrase is often used in political contexts. So understanding its meaning and usage is crucial for following global news and political discussions. Let's explore this together. Be in power refers to holding a position of authority or control, particularly in a government or organizational setting. When someone is in power, they have the ability to make decisions, influence policies, and guide the direction of the group or nation they're leading. This phrase is often used in the context of politics, but it can also apply to other areas like corporations or institutions. To better understand, be in power, let's look at some examples. 1. Political leaders, the current government has been in power for four years. 2. Organizational leadership, since the new CEO came into power, the company's profits have increased. 3. Historical contexts, Queen Elizabeth I was in power during a significant period of English history. Each of these examples shows how the phrase can be adapted to different contexts, always indicating a position of authority. People often confuse, be in power, with, come to power. The former indicates a current state of holding power, while the latter refers to the act of gaining that power. For example, after winning the election, the party came into power. Understanding phrases like, be in power, is vital for comprehending news, political discussions, and historical texts. It helps non-native speakers engage more deeply with English-speaking cultures, especially in discussions about current events and history. And that's a wrap on, be in power. I hope this video has helped clarify this important phrase for you. Remember, Understanding such phrases enriches your English learning journey, especially when discussing politics and history. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next lesson.